Hi, I am Hadi Sadati. I'm a research fellow here at King's and I'm leading the project ART. ART stands for Autonomous Robotic Thrombectomy in Acute Stroke. Acute stroke, which is the blockage of brain blood vessels by blood clot, is the fourth cause of death in the UK, second worldwide. It is the third cause of disability, two thirds of the survivors, and results in 1.7 billion NHS yearly cost. We have a limited time frame to act, two to six hours, but limited facilities, only 24 centers in the UK, and few experts, 78 in the UK. This is almost one expert per one million of us in the UK. As a result, only 17% of eligible patients received the treatment in 2019, failing more than 80% of the eligible patients. What if we have an affordable robotic unit for off-the-shelf thrombectomy devices for cost effectiveness? that semi-autonomously telenavigate the tissue and blood vessels to reach the stroke site in the brain and performs the required intervention via fully sensorized multi-purpose tooltip. That is the vision for art. Such a system makes timely intervention more accessible by deploying in less equipped local centers while being telemanipulated by an expert far away. Reduces the need for highly equipped centers via its cost-effective model of using off-the-shelf devices and semi-automated performance that requires less trained staff to be present. And lifts the border for collaboration between the experts from across the world. This is in contrast to the current robotic endovascular solutions that require highly trained experts and equipped facilities, provide minimal sensing, haptic feedback and autonomy, use passive guide via catheter actuation and are not integrable with off-the-shelf tools. ART is defined in close partnership with clinical specialists at King's College Hospital. It received kind support from industrial and academic sponsors such as Siemens Healthineers UK, INRIA France and University of Erlangen Germany and carried out under the supervision of a team of exceptional mentors at King's College London. So far, we have developed a proof of concept system with micro precision actuation units for up to three off the shelf thrombectomy devices. A semi autonomous control interface with seamless switch between manual teleoperation and artificial intelligence based autonomous navigation. And a teleoperation haptic interface with force feedback based on real-time simulation of the interventional forces during the procedure. Let's hear more from the experts that we collaborated with. Hi, I'm Leonard Carstensen and I would like to show you my research on autonomous endovascular interventions. Autonomous navigation can help relieve stress from the physician reduces um, radiation exposure and in the long run could bring high quality care to underdeveloped areas. We developed an autonomous controller based on deep reinforcement learning. The controller receives observations as input, calculates the appropriate action um, to navigate to a given target. Conveniently, the controller trains itself by reinforcement learning. As you can see on the right hand side, our controller learned to navigate to any given target. Even if it cannot reach the target branch directly, 
it continues to probe arteries until it finds the correct artery, just like a human would, would do in this situation. My research visit and at KCL greatly helped me to improve my simulation model by sharing knowledge about the simulation engine and especially it helped me sharpen my fo the focus of my research. I'm Ben Jackson, I'm a PhD student here at King's College London, supervised by Dr Thomas Booth and Professor Val Rose, and I'm looking at teleoperated mechanical thrombectomy for acute stroke. In this project, our primary aim is to develop a controller responder robotic system for teleoperated robotic surgery, ultimately expanding access to critical care. Firstly, we've designed a two degree of freedom human robot interface with haptic feedback. This interface enables precise control over catheters, guide wires, and other endovascular devices. Our control methodology was then rigorously validated with the input of nine interventional radiologists. We've conducted tests in a simulated surgical environment using the soft, open framework architecture, otherwise known as SOFA. We measured elements of the surgical procedure that directly affect patient outcomes and gathered qualitative data regarding the surgeon preference in the operating room. So far, we have showcased repeatable performance of our system in in vitro experiments with realistic phantoms based on patient scan data and carried out preliminary user studies to benchmark the system and transfer the general techniques being used by clinicians to our robot. With the help of multiple short-term and prime prime fundings, we managed to bring R to an early translational phase. Our next steps are acquiring necessary funding to improve our system and to perform thorough benchmarks in ex vivo and cadaver studies, as well as to acquire necessary IPs and require translational skills such as medical system design on the quality management system, health economics, and market analysis. These will prepare our technology for subsequent mid-translational phase. The ultimate goal of ART is the development of a smart autonomous medical system to further democratize access to high-end medical treatments. ART is developed as a pathway toward reinventing catheter steering by soft robotics to minimize the need for expertise and specialist centers. We plan to pursue this via smart structural design and theoretical studies, with the hope of transforming patient treatment in remote places, save lives, and reshape medical robotics research from the soft robotics perspective. Thank you for your attention.